Item number, SCP-3118. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-3118 is to be kept in a standard small safe class secure storage locker at Site-22. SCP-3118 is to be kept unloaded and with a standard trigger lock when not being tested. After testing, SCP-3118 should be examined for wear, with maintenance performed as necessary. All testing with SCP-3118 is currently suspended. Description: SCP-3118 is a Beretta M9 pistol. Its anomalous effects activate only when it is used to fire a bullet at the cranium of a human being. Using the object to fire a bullet into other parts of the body will result in standard gun-inflicted trauma and not activate its effects, unless the bullet also passes through any portion of the cranium. A bullet fired in this way will dematerialize upon contact with the cranium, and instead of an exit wound and ejecta, SCP-3118-1 will emerge from the far side of the cranium along the bullet's path. SCP-3118-1 is an exact recreation of something the subject has eaten for lunch at some point in their life, including containers and utensils used to consume the meal. Food items consumed in part will manifest as they would have been served to the subject. Only meals eaten between 11am and 3pm local time will be recreated this way. The more SCP-3118 is used on a subject, the further back in their life an SCP-3118-1 instance can potentially be drawn from. Items comprising SCP-3118-1 are not themselves anomalous. Comparison of cookware to identifiable items has shown that SCP-3118-1 is a perfect replica of the original meal. SCP-3118-1 will manifest at velocity from the cranium, then alight on the nearest horizontal surface along the trajectory of the exit wound that has surface area available to hold all food items and containers. This sometimes results in the displacement of other objects previously located on the surface, but never in spills or upset of items created. Flooring will be used if there are no other surfaces in the room with the subject. Subjects undergoing the creation of SCP-3118-1 typically have a 66% survival rate, with survivors complaining of tinnitus or headache, occasionally migraine headache, as the only effects of the object. The way SCP-3118 kills individuals shot only through the cranium is currently not understood, as no bone or brain matter is disrupted in the process. Addendum Testing Logs Test Number Initial Discovery Date October 9th, 2015 Subject Research Assistant Cody Kraybaum SCP-3118-1 Description Plastic container with reheated slice of sausage and pepperoni pizza 1.18 liter bottle Brand lager beer 4 Hazelnut chocolates in wrapper Notes after surviving the incident, R.A. Kraybaum remanded himself to the Site-22 psychologist and gave up SCP-3118 for classification. Psychological profile suggests work-related stress and home trouble with his fiance culminated in suicidal ideation. Current prognosis is positive after reassignment to Site- and Foundation-sponsored relationship counseling. Test number 1. Date. October 16th, 2015 Subject D-10331 SCP-3118-1 Description Bowl of Foundation Standard Nutrition Supplement with Spoon Cup of Water Notes Standard D-Class Rations Subject Survived Test Number 3 Date October 18th, 2015 Subject D-10331 SCP-3118-1 Description Bowl of chicken noodle soup with spoon Napkin with pile of 35 cheddar cheese flavored goldfish shaped crackers Glass of milk Notes Subject expressed delight at nostalgia of meal and posited that it was originally served when he was sick as a child Test number 6 
Date, October 19th, 2015. Subject, D10331. SCP-3118-1 Description Puddle of white fluid determined to be human breast milk. Notes Subject expired. Test number 12 Date January 12, 2016 Subject D10187 SCP-3118-1 Description 233 live monomorium ants 145 milliliters of earth. Notes. Subject explained she was forced by a neighborhood bully to eat a few handfuls of ants at the age of seven, after which subject was discovered to have pica. Subject further elaborated that said bully was really impressed by her feet and they became friends afterwards. Test number 29. Date, December 27th, 2016. Subject. D10422. Footnote 1. Third test with this subject. SCP-3118-1 Description. Six years old. Reported missing from Klamath Falls, Oregon on May 14th, 2010. Steel butcher's knife. Fork. Notes. Subject was incarcerated after conviction for kidnapping and murder in three missing children cases from 2008 to 2010. Further attempts to link subject to other missing children cases, including that of <laughs> had been unsuccessful. SCP-3118-1 terminated after DNA test proved replication of original subject. Request to commission D-10422 for further testing denied by site director. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patron, Lesby Friends. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.